This is a tutorial for how to play a scientific notation game. First, print or create a score sheet that looks similar to the one below. You may choose to leave out the labels by the boxes if you wish. You'll need a number in the ones place, your decimal point, a number for the tenths place, something for the hundredths place, your base of 10, and an exponent box. Same thing for player two. Next, you'll need one die. Take turns rolling and placing numbers one at a time until all the spots are filled. Let's say player one goes first and rolls a three. That player may decide to put that in the tenths place. Next, player two rolls and rolls a two. That player decides to put it in the hundredths place. They continue taking turns and placing numbers until they've all, all the boxes have been filled. We might consider filling in the rest of those a one in the hundredths place. Perhaps next we have a one rolled in the tenths place. Player one rolls next and rolls a four, deciding to put it in the exponent place. Player two rolls a six and decides to put it in the ones place. Player one's final roll is a two, which goes in the ones place. And the last roll for player two ends up being a two, which goes into our exponents spot. We now have, in the scientific notation, two and 31 hundredths times 10 to the fourth power. And player two would say their scientific notation, six and 12 hundredths times 10 to the second power. For the next step, both players will convert the numbers from scientific notation to standard notation. Multiplying a, a decimal by something to the fourth power will make that decimal point move four places to the right because we're multiplying by 10,000. Two and 31 hundredths becomes a much bigger number. When we get over here to six and 12 hundredths multiplied by 10 to the second power, that player will move the decimal point two places to the right because they're multiplying it by 100. As we see, those numbers turn out to be 23,100 for player one, and player two has a score of only 612. Player one wins the game and goes first in the next game. Alternate versions that you may decide to play are to roll all four dice at a time and decide where to put their values. You could also use dice with more than six sides or you may choose to substitute playing cards for dice. There's also a variety of sources online, including dice.virtualworld.net or www.random.org games. Good luck and have fun playing.